Hello again. Hope you are all feeling well today, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Um, today we're going to talk about eagles and wings. And um, yeah, the eagle is one of my favorite birds. When we lived in Alaska in the summer, now, actually, it's in the winter. There's a lady who feeds them. She's known as the Eagle Lady. And you would see dozens of eagles all hunkered down in this area because this woman would bring them food. And it was just really fun to see them up close and personal. And when we'd be out salmon fishing, the eagles would be there eating the carcasses. And so seeing eagles in Alaska wasn't nearly as extraordinary as it is for us here today because we all get so excited when we see an eagle as we should. So the verse for today is, they will soar on wings like eagles from that very well-known beloved verse, Isaiah 40, 31. There is a fable about the way birds first got their wings. The story goes that initially they were made without them. Then God made the wings, set them down before the wingless birds and said to them, take these burdens and carry them. The birds had sweet voices for singing and lovely feathers that glistened in the sunshine, but they could not soar in the air. When asked to pick up the burdens that lay at their feet, they hesitated at first. Yet soon they obeyed, they picked up the wings with their beaks and set them on their shoulders to carry them. For a short time, the load seemed heavy and difficult to bear, but soon, as they continued to carry the burden and to fold the wings over their hearts, the wings grew attached to their little bodies. They quickly discovered how to use them, and they were lifted by the wings high into the air. The weights had become wings. This is a parable for us. We are the wingless birds, and duties and tasks are the wings that God uses to lift us up and carry us heavenward. We look at our burdens and heavy loads and we try to run from them. But if we, care, if we will carry them and tie them to our hearts, they will become wings. And on them we can rise and soar toward God. There is no burden so heavy that when lifted cheerfully with love in our hearts, that it will not become a blessing to us. God intends for our tasks to be our helpers. To refuse to bend our shoulders to carry a load is to miss a new opportunity for growth. No matter how overwhelming any burden God has lovingly placed with his own hands on our shoulders is a blessing. And so I was thinking about what burdens I have carried that have turned into blessings. And I didn't have to think too far back because... Um, Greg's mom and dad moved up to Troutdale. Um, I think it was about three years ago now. They didn't really ask us. They just sold everything in California and moved up, um, I think because it was cheaper here. And they were in independent living. So we, we helped them find a place to live. Um, and they, they did find an independent living. I told you my mother-in-law had dementia. But she still understood things. She just couldn't talk. And But my father-in-law is almost completely blind. And so I had assumed that the shuttle that was available to take people to doctor's appointments and grocery shopping would be what they use. But instead, we found out really quickly that I was going to be that shuttle because Mary, my mother-in-law, would, had that propensity to wander, you know, and nobody would ever understand her if she got lost and was trying to get back somewhere. And then Bob wasn't able to see, to know where she was or know where they were. He needed a lot of help. So I ended up being the chauffeur. Like, And the three of us always did everything together. When one of them had a doctor's appointment, we all three went. <laughs> and so at first I... I have to confess, I was just really bummed out. I had a job. I had a really full life of ministry and especially them getting settled in. There was a lot of doctor's appointments and getting their apartment stocked up with food, a lot of trips to the grocery store. And one day I was just talking to the Lord about it and praying about it, praying to have a better attitude. And it was like I could just feel how much he loved them and that this 
was a blessing given to me and not a burden. I mean, I had that exact sense and it completely changed my attitude and I saw it as um, a gift. It was a gift to me to be able to invest in them. And my mother-in-law died a year ago and I can't even tell you how close we become. She just, we hadn't always got along in our earlier years of marriage, let us say, but by the time she passed, She was just like my best friend and she hadn't talked in years, but the night before she died, she hugged me as tight as her little bony frame could hug. And she whispered in my ear, I love you. And so I'm so glad that I carried that burden by his grace and let it become a blessing. So, um, yeah. So what are the blessings that or the burdens that God has turned into blessings for you that have helped you soar above and see kind of from a bird's eye perspective of what he wants to do. So let's pray. Lord, I just love that story about how you gave the birds wings and, and how they hesitated at first because they looked too heavy. And I think that's how we are when we all are approached with burdens in the beginning, we just look at the heaviness, but we don't see that as we, I love that, to attach them to our hearts and they become part of us and they become wings that will lift us up to you. So Lord, let us look at our burdens differently from this day on. Let us see them as opportunities to grow, as gifts to um, minister to others and as ways to grow more like Jesus. So um, we thank you for our burdens and we thank you that they become wings and um, your ways are just wonderful beyond what we could ever think or imagine. We love you, Jesus. Amen. I will talk to you tomorrow. Lord willing.